including bribery and wire fraud. In a new report that explains articles of impeachment, President Trump tweeted that Democrats were trivializing impeachment for political gain. Extinction Rebellion activists dumped a lorry load of horse manure outside the venue of a UN climate summit in Madrid after the world's leading polluters failed to agree a battle plan against global warming. Negotiators accused the lack of progress in agreeing international greenhouse gas reductions by pointing out that at least they had saved the talks from collapsing altogether. 16-year-old Greta Thunberg told a crowd in Madrid, the climate crisis is still being ignored by those in power. A panel of top scientists has voted to designate a new geological epoch, the Anthropocene, a new age in which nature has been overridden, and human activity is the dominant geological process. A new F-35 Lightning fighter jet has taken off from aircraft carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth for the first time while in the UK. Deployment of the 3.1 billion British aircraft carrier has again been delayed. First operations are expected in 2021. The government seeking to launch a review of Ministry of Defence spending and strategy next year after concerns that the department has been wasting billions on misjudged procurement. Disgraced movie mogul Harvey Weinstein, who is facing multiple charges of rape and sexual misconduct in New York, has taken to arriving at the courthouse on a Zimmer frame. The judge responded by increasing his bail from $1 million to $5 million. Following his Tory landslide victory, Prime Minister Boris Johnson is to add a new clause to the Brexit bill to make it illegal for Parliament to extend the process beyond the end of next year. Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn announces plans to step down as his party suffers a major election defeat. This year saw an unprecedented level of migrants crossing the channel in small dinghies. A 32-year-old man from Hull attended a plea hearing at Hull Crown Court over an alleged plot to smuggle migrants from France to the UK using small dinghies. Drones are now to be used to patrol the channel. The aerial cameras will be deployed in the next three months between Eastbourne, East Sussex and Margate, Kent. A Home Office spokeswoman said crossing the channel in a small boat is incredibly dangerous. Anyone attempting the journey is risking their lives. That was the evening news. Good night.